So the original version of this drill was invented by a world champion shooter named Ben Steger. The idea behind this is that it is more difficult to transition between shots of varying difficulty than it is to transition between shots of the same difficulty. So the way the drill is worked out is we have a target at 7, 15, and 25 yards, typically, although we can work this at varying distances, right? Especially with a rifle, we can push it out pretty far if we have the space. I want to address each target appropriately for the difficulty of the shot. What happens all too often with most shooters is we wind up getting stuck on one particular method of addressing a target. In other words, if I address the close target here, then I might address the middle target and the far target too rapidly to ensure that I have good hits. If I address the far target first, then I will probably address the center and the, and the close target too slowly and lose time, even though I'll have good accuracy. So that ability to shift gears, that transmission you have to build in your head, is one of the most difficult things you need to do for your development as a shooter. So you should put a proportionate amount of effort into developing that skill. So I'm going to walk you guys through this and do some live fire demonstrations and we're going to talk about how this works, the purpose behind it, and how to see if we're doing it right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of incorrect repetitions. For this first repetition, I'm going to address the close target at the correct speed using the proper aiming technique and the proper trigger manipulation technique. But then I'm going to use that same technique for the middle and the far target, which is incorrect. So if you see, it was the same pace and rhythm for all three targets, even though it shouldn't be. I think it actually worked out for me, but that's still not the correct way to do it, right? Now for the second demonstration of an improper repetition, I'm going to start at the far target and address all three targets with that particular aiming scheme and triggering technique. Once again, good accuracy, but too slow on the center target and the far target, right? What instead you want it to look like is something like this. And I'm going to exaggerate this so that you see what I'm talking about. We're going to go near to far again. Obviously, that's an exaggerated repetition to prove my point, but that's kind of the feeling you want. I want to have a different rhythm and a different sighting and triggering scheme for each target. Now I'm going to go far to near and exaggerate it again. Right? That's more what I'm looking for. Now when I train this myself, got to reload here. When I train this myself, the other thing I want to do is I want to vary up the sequence I address the targets with. So I'm going to have a random sequence. I'll go near to far, far to near, center near far, center far near, and so on. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. And I want to vary it like that so that I've got experience in moving back and forth in a random fashion between different target difficulties. Let's do a few more repetitions of that. and so on and so forth. We're going to work it that way. We're going to go ahead and take care of it like that. We're going to keep working that random pattern, that random sequence. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Bravo Company Manufacturing, Bravo Company USA, Hornady, Skinner Sight, American Technologies Network. 
Walther. Night Vision. Jacob Gray. Yankee Hill. SDS Imports. Takarov, USA. Tesis. Military Armament Corporation. Spandau. Burris. And Steiner Optics. We would like to dedicate today's show to the men and women of the United States military and law enforcement. The people that stand in the gap and keep our country free. God bless America.